Alrighty, so let me set up the stream really quick. Um, one second. Alrighty then. What up, guys? Welcome back to another Wrecking Wolf live stream, and um, we are going to. Um, well, okay, so I'm gonna work on a uh a new project called um the uh, Wrecking Wolves the Labyrinth, and it's a it's a D and D one shot. Or the Dungeons and Dragons, it's kind of like it's a tabletop game, and you know I'm planning for that. And yeah, so um, I let's get started. So what I'm like trying to do is like a, like these maps and stuff, and um like. I was okay. So anyways, I was watching the the labyrinth by David uh, with ba David Bowie in it, the Golden King and stuff like that. And um, I was like, all right, that makes actually a pretty good one shot. So um, I was writing down some ideas, and um, um, that's what I'm gonna do in a bit. But yeah, um, I made the hear me show you a bit. I made the starting page, which is going to be uh, the players are going to have their tokens on there. And then I think I, ma I made um, the creatures and stuff, like the you know, uh, the fire elementals from the movie. So, I have that. Fire elemental. And then I have um uh, Ludo from the Labyrinth. And it's gonna be NPC because he is NPC in the story. Just that um here. Um also I'm going to also make the character sheets for uh Jareth um and um dang it, I forgot the girl's name. The main girl. The main girl from, from the movie. And then um, can make the stats for the goblins, which is already like there. So all I need to do is to get in the token, which is pretty easy for me. Um, and then so far I have the I already have the labyrinth as the map and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So be able to have, this is gonna be the labyrinth, and then this part's going to be like the castle, or yeah, the Go Goblin City. He's gonna be like, well, pierced somewhere or something like that. But that's st it's, st it's still there. And then this area is gonna be the the Goblin City. Um, and then that's gonna be the uh, the that that page is gonna be the castle. So I am excited um to get all this to get all this put together. And so far, uh, I am going to try to. Uh, make the sets for the goblins. Uh, no, I already made it already, but anyways, uh, the editing of the token that's going to be needed, so yeah, give me one second. And it's going to be in... Okay. Oh uh, no. Okay. What I'm going to do, hold on. And what I'm gonna do is look up the, uh, the, uh, goblins really quick. Hold on. So, um, well, I'm, I'm, let's see, in the screen, because, let's see, I don't know what's going to pop up. That's why I have the screen here. Goblin, the labyrinth. Yeah, and let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. Okay, art. Let's put up the art. Um, maybe. Yeah. So one second. There we go. That looks like okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, let me put on the screen. Hold on. There we go. 
Yes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. And then pull it, put, put that in my folder. If I can. Hold on. Did I put in the wrong thing? Uh, yeah. Uh, never mind. I, th I thought the stream was just jerk jerked. Um, go over to other other files. I have a bunch of them in here. And then that's about it. I'm gonna close this window really quick. And I okay. I'm gonna make the token now as a, as, as we speak, or as I speak. So. Uh, go to I go here to token step, and then I'm gonna change the border of the of the token as you can see right here. And what's pretty cool is that you can change the color of the boarding. So let's say let's say let's say like this sickly green or sickly green or something like that because goblin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, choose an image. Uh, click on my desktop because I got like lots of files on my desktop. Um, lots of planning. Give me a second. Uh, do 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 do. Better find the picture. There, there, there you are. Boop. Okay. There we go. There he is. Okay, so, um, you could recite. Is this gonna show it like that? But it's just a preview. What's it gonna be? For example, when I move it, it moves and stuff. So, let's just put this back and. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Just to make it uh cooler. There we go. That's the uh, goblin goblin. Uh go ahead and um put download. And then I'm gonna go ahead and unclick that and then it's stay out of here. Go over to my um rural twenty. Put in an upload of file, which is going to be the little goblin token I just made. So, yeah, give me that downloads. That one. And then I'm just going to add the others just in case I need to. So, token. Uh, Characters Give me one second Y'all need music, huh? <laughs> Oops <laughs> uh, Let me actually know I have not um, I have not put in the music yet. I will put that in a bit too. I need to do that too. Um, okay. That, 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 and puppers. Yes, there is a puppers. Or, you know, dog. Let's see. Grab that token and. This token, okay. So I think I'm done. I'm just put in the music because I've been doing a lot of things at once. I need music. We need, actually, yeah, we need music. So I'm gonna go ahead to my playlists. Um, let's add that to the game. Um, yeah, battle. Yes, we're going to use. Uh, going to we need battle music for the battles and stuff in case people get people. I mean, players. Um encounter anything Jeez, I need water and there's no water. Oh, okay. Uh, I should probably get some in a bit 
Yeah. Note to self. Note to self. Get some water. Uh, world map music. I might need some of that. Creepy ambiance. Uh, maybe if I need that. Okay. And other oh, world. Uh. Yeah, maybe. Intense as if. Okay. You need when you need all the playlists in your arsenal right now. Player death themes. <laughs> no. Tavern music. Um. I might need that. Might. Okay. Cool music. Okay, uh, don't need the library because that's for another uh, campaign. Alright, so let's just go ahead and put in some music while I do all of this. So let me just go ahead and... Uh, casual, there we go. There's casual. There we go. Okay, just turn this down because it's it's it, it's kind of loud in, in my ears when it, when it comes to it. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> let me turn this down though for 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 my ins for my sanity. Sorry. All right. So now let's get to the <clears throat> um, goblin token just to implement this in the character sheet. So go ahead and edit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, and click upload. It's gonna upload this token. Goblin. There we go. And then go ahead. Um, go ahead and save changes. And there, there they are. Just let me check the stats to see if it's okay. So, the goblin is armor class of fifteen, seven points of HP. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, they're gonna. Okay, so. Buste, SK, Scimitar, Scimitar, Sharp, Sharpo. Let me go ahead and actually edit this really quick so I could um, query the rules. Van Toggle, Whisper Toggle. Okay. And then it should be set to go. So let me just go ahead and do. Um, Whisper to G and let's see how that looks like. Let's say they want to like attack with their scimitar. Uh, 17 hit. Uh, if it does hit, I get to click on the name of the of the weapon and it does that much damage. Yeah. So. Why am I purple? I'm blue. I like my uh blue dice. Oh, let me see. Blue dice roll. That's a awful roll for. Anyways, uh, let's see. Go over to click on goblin. Okay, care. Click character sheet in public because next time we go around, if they do experience um, an encounter with goblins, uh, they're supposed to look at uh, rather it hits them or not. Okay. Now, since we got the goblin, fire elemental, and earth elemental, let's try hobgoblin. These guys are going to be a bit on the. Let's see, yeah. Those are gonna be like the captains and stuff, so um they have less points though, but they do have a long sword. Wait, what's this? Hold on, I gotta fix that. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that. Fix that. And then click on here. 
It's gonna be, uh, let's see. It's gonna be called multi attack because these guys. multi attack. And. the hobgoblin. Um. can attack. twice. Multi-attack. Two with longsword or two with the longbow. Uh, grammar, hello. The with the longsword or there. Do. And it's gonna be there. Okay. Their longbow. And I may spell it again. Okay. So. It's not two handed. The Hobgoblin can attack twice, two with their longsword or two with their longbow. Yeah. And then I'm going to change a little bit uh, of maybe the HP points a little bit more. Maybe like a 22 HP instead of the... Yeah, because like double the HP for them. Because they're a little bit hard to kill because they're goblin captains. So, um, so let me go ahead and grab that. They can do the multi attack, which leads into two attacks of the longsword. Uh, seven misses probably, and. 11, which, pro which probably uh, misses, I think. And then longbow, let me see. Hold on. Let's see how. 10. And 12, which does not hit. Interesting enough. But yeah, um, it's this is going to be like a level 3, level 4 campaign, mini campaign, if people are willing. Um, Let me just... I need to fix some things first, though. Hobgoblin. Yeah, I gotta get the token in there. Okay. That's why. Cancel. Uh, it's gonna be character sheet. Go over to public. Click on that. And now I'm gonna make the. Yeah, so, um, let me find a token for that as well. If I can. Give me a second here. Um, go to my desktop. Maybe in my other campaign stuff, maybe I could find a go uh, Hobgoblin Captain token. Campaigns, campaigns, oh. Tokens. Let's see. Antagonists. Ooh. Um. Okay. Creatures. There we go. <laughs> I put in the crit creatures. Um. Let's see. Give me a second. Hold on. I'm trying to find the things in here. Let's see. No, that's an ogre. Oh, that's a ghoul. Never mind. <laughs> oh no. That's an orc, orc, and orc. There's a lot of orcs in here. Oh yeah, that's definitely okay. Found them.
Mm, I should probably make a new one because these ones are not gonna cut it. So, um, give me a second. Let me just go find it. Hold on, give me a second. Boop. Reason, reason, reason. I have mail. No, 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 no. no. I'm forgetting to eat my ice cream. Give me a second. Okay, hold on. Um, Goblin Knight um, art. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. I found one. This one. And then I've also found... Uh, that one. And then I also found... Uh, that one's sound... That looks like a... Actually, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... Grab this one and save it into my desktop. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the token stamp and make make that token as well. Let's have the border tint uh like uh like that color. Because it's gonna be like one of the boss guys a little bit. You know, not boss guy, more like a, a heavy hitter. Now let's see, go ahead and grab desktop. No, oh, it's in other files, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Let me grab. I want to open. I forgot to bring in. What's this? Oh, somebody. The uh, somebody uh, messaged me in Discord. Hold on. Do that. There we go. Okay. So we got that. Strong boy, and I'm gonna go ahead and download. Erase this, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab. Uh, go ahead and click edit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and download and grab the token. Like this is literally what I what I do when I when I um plan for like D and D games and everything. I so when whenever I don't have the materials, like you know, I don't have the tokens for it. I just look for it and then make a token out of it and then implement it into the game. So it's like yeah, planning all the planning. Okay, so you, let's see the character sheets. Okay, yeah, that looks, that looks good. Yeah, and this is a martial advantage. Once per turn, the Hobgoblin can deal an extra 7 damage to a creature. It hits with a weapon attack if the creature is within 5 feet of it. Cool. Alright, Hobgoblin. I don't think we have, we need, imp actually no, not Cobalt. Definitely a Mimic, so I will show you what a Mimic is. Um, yeah, Mimic Art, Mimic 5e Art, or Art, burr, burr, burr. no, do I, actually, no, I do have mim um, the Mimic, uh, see that, this is a Mimic, I'll show you, that's actually, this is actually a better, yeah, <laughs> that's an actual Mimic, like, 
Okay. Let's save this. No, actually... Yeah, okay, I'm actually gonna, like, grab this. Nah, I'm good. Okay, actually, I think I know I, I have it. I have the... Uh, edit this real quick. I do have a Mimic token. Let's see, it's gonna be in my DD stuff. Campaigns. Tokens. Tokens. Creatures. There we go, there it is. There is the mimic. See, there we go. There is a mimic. And now I gotta find the imp. Uh, let's see. Let me see the character sheet. Yeah, this is gonna be one of like the strongest um creatures out there, and that's not including uh Jareth and yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. I also need to make a token for Toby too. I just gotta rebuy myself. Okay, imp. So let's see if I could be able to make uh, Toby's uh, Toby's um, token from the movie. So let's see. Okay. So go to desktop. If I can find it. <laughs> Um, if I could find the nope, that's not the one. That's not the picture that I can't can't find Toby on. Toby! Toby! Oh, that sucks. I can't even find. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can find a better picture of that one. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, the labyrinth. To be art. Still looking for the art really quick. Actually, this works. Okay. Wait, there's another one? Alright, so is it, this is what I have. The, yeah, that one's gonna- it's gonna be- it's gonna be, uh, the token, so. Go ahead and grab it in my desktop. Actually, no, in other files, and then save it into there. 
And then close this, choose an image. That image is going to be the one that I just saved. One second. Um, hold on. No, I'm going to keep it anyways. Uh, the picture, sorry. It was like, oh, do you, do, do you want to choose an image? I'm like, yeah. Do you want to keep the image that you just don't let me get? I'm like, yeah. Computer. <laughs> Why? All right. There he is. Okay. Be a little bit so you won't like look at the all right words okay. A little bit all right. Clickety click. All right. Um, and the color for that one. There we go. Alright. And then you just download it. And then put it into the... Upload it. Let's see, how long has it been lapsing? There we go. Toto. Okay. Now, last and not least, the little imp. To make, to make an imp. Give me a second. Do, do, do. Imp art. Oh, that's wicked. Oh, here, I'll show you. That's a wicked looking imp. I mean, sure. But like, eh, too menacing. Men menacing, like, you know, it looks like an actual per actual bad guy. But, you know, imps are supposed to be bad guys, but they're mischievous uh, little creatures, so... Maybe something mis mischievous looking. Give me a second. Let's see. If I can find a correct one, a good one. Mm, maybe okay. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna search for the Magic the Gathering art for Imp to see if it's like art. Um, let's see. That's no, ooh. That looks sick. Hold on. Let me show it to you guys. <laughs> that looks sick. <laughs> but that's a cackler, though. Yeah, it looks bad. <laughs> um, there's like a lot of stuff in here. Um, yeah. So how about matches the gathering art? Uh, how about imp D and D art? Let's see how that goes. Hold on. All 
Okay, so there's this one. It looks okay. It has a scorpion's tail. But there's also this one. And then there's also that one. Yeah, that one. Maybe that one? I don't know, it's gotta be amb ambiguous. Maybe not. Let's see. I'll search for one, hold on. Oops. <laughs> I started to click a bunch of things on my stream. Let me find a neutral looking one, cause you know. Hmm. Okay, so I guess this will this one will do. Yeah, we'll click on this guy. Uh, yeah. So let me just go ahead and save it. <sighs> Why am I yawning during my stream? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so just uh, go ahead and make the token token now, and let's pick a frame, and it's going to be there. We go. That's a good color for that, and then go ahead and choose image. Okay, go to download, no, go to desktop, go to uh, other files. Where'd it go? Hold on. Ah, there, there it is. Maybe a close-up? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and download it. Erase, and then exit this out, and then go to here. And then I could just Grab this and edit. I know it's a, it's a lot of editing because, um, you know, you're trying to have this all like design and stuff. These are just placeholders to represent like certain things and stuff like that. Yeah, there we go. There's the avatar. Yeah, let me see the sheets really quick. Sting, bite, in beast form. It could uh, super change. It could change into a beast. Magical resistance, double sight. Um, invisibility, they could be able to turn invisible. Sting, bite, in beast form. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see. It is immu immune to fire and poison. Condition immunities are poisoned. 
damage resistance is, is cold, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks that aren't silver. Okay. And there you have it. There's the creature stuff. Which I need to put those in here. Because, you know, they're creatures and stuff. And then I'm going to put in the bad guys in here. If I can make a... Let's see. So, okay. So it's going to be... Uh, add character. Uh, this is going to be the bad guys. NPCs are going to... I'm going to add a character from there. There's going to be one, two... Two main NPCs. I think I'm add two, one more in there. And ah, now I remember the girl's name. The main girl's name is Sarah. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. I'm gonna put in Sarah. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put save changes. And then this guy's going to be Poggle, you know, the dwarf guy. Go ahead, edit. Poggle. Okay, and then be Sarah Hoggle, and then the main bad guy is going to be, or quote, bad guy is Jared. Jer Jareth Jareth seems lonely in the movie. Jareth. Let me just edit one more time though. Goblin King. Okay. Jareth the Goblin King. And then PCs, so I'm going to have a maximum of three players, I think, would be nice. Um, let's see. I already built the labyrinth, this labyrinth already. So they're, they're going to come in, and this is like the token and stuff like that. There's that one, okay. Um, so they're going to come into the labyrinth and stuff, trying to figure it out and stuff like that. And there's going to be like extra rooms in here. That, I am still need to figure out what I'm going to put in those rooms. Like, you know, what creatures and stuff like that. Like, in case they need to, they encounter any of them. I was thinking maybe a couple of mimics here and there. Um, some goblins in there and be like, oi. That one. And then the castle, which I'm going to try to, like, make, trying to look for right now. Hold on, let me see if I could be able to find that stuff. It's crazy. Let's see, castle. Castle D D map. Let's see what we can find. And then also I gotta make the Goblin City too. This is a uh... Oh, pretty cool. Actually, yeah, I can show you guys this because it's nothing weird. Um, I have a message. One second. When you have a message, be like, your friend's like, hey, just, hey. I got a message. I'm like, wait, what? Because uh, right now, actually, it's, it's Saturday, so. Okay, so this is like gonna be the castle, castles and stuff like that. Not sure which one I want to use yet for the castle. Um, let's see. Goblin City. Maybe if I just put Goblin City D and D map.
Uh, that looks pretty promising. These are... Yeah, because if you go to the elaborate... Is this an actual map? Oh, that looks cool. I'm gonna take that. Um, it's it's gonna be it's it's gonna it's gonna be one of those like maps that's gonna be like, you know, um, one of the uh, this might be a map for this type of thing, you know. Uh, what else is there? There's also this one, but no. Hmm. Something simple and not too complicated because. It's gonna be a regular map. Oh, this is no too complicated. Goblin City. That's an orc village. Never mind. I said Goblin City, not orc village. Cool. I mean, that looks pretty cool. But it has the squares, which is gonna. That's a pretty cool looking map. I'm gonna take that. In case I want an extra place, I mean, extra map to actually make. In case I it gets derailed. Because um, stuff like DD stories get derailed by the players so much, it's like not, not even a joke. Oh! Yes, okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be the goblin lair. Maybe it's underground. Oops, I sub saved it in the wrong folder. Whoops, is me and my... Okay. Let's change it up. Let's change up the music a little bit. Um, let's change up a little music. music. Do, do, do. Casual. There we go. This is a more calming thing. Alrighty, so. Sorry, I just wanted to change the music right now. It's like, ah, the same music over and over. There's village, city, what's this for here? Hmm. I mean, sure, why not? I'll take this one too, and no, it has the grid. Not supposed to have the grid. Hmm. Goblin Caves. I could use this one, yeah. And then there's this one too, as well. Oh. No, never mind. Alright, I'm gonna look for one more map. Okay, so I'm gonna search up uh, something very specific. No grid. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Uh, the gridded map. Also, ice cream. Mmm, that looks dope. I want that. <laughs> I want that map. Or that could be the un underground stuff. Who knows? Oh, 
Uh, let's see. What is this? Hell yeah, I like that map. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that map's sweet. I think that's about it. Maybe search for one more map. Without the gr Oh my god, I just put in n no grid at all. Or that one. This is pretty decent of a map. Okay. Now I could just rest in peace right now. Okay. On the city map, castle map. All right, let's try to find the castle. A good one that's like, uh, this is interesting, but no. Whoa, that's a big map. How the heck? That's a big map. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe actually, no. This is this seems pretty good. Lake Castle. Yeah. Moat. And watch the players blow up the whole castle. Like, oh yeah, no, Goblin King. Uh, blow up your castle now. Why? You stole a child. <laughs> I mean, granted, you don't have to destroy the dude's property. Just like be like, hey, you know, give give, give me Toby back. Do do do. Okay, I'm gonna look for one more map to see which one I like best. What's this one? Nah, it's just regular. A set castle. Oh, what's this? Let me zoom in. Castles, nice. Wait. Where'd it go? <laughs> Where'd it go? I want that castle to go. This castle. I'm gonna save this one. Oh. <laughs> um. Whenever I zoomed, it zoomed, huh? Damn. Alright, just one more castle map and I'll be good. Look at this map, though. <laughs> is that real? Is that? Yeah, it's a real, real mold and everything. I'm like, bro, I. Uh, you don't really have to go f <laughs> long and far, but I appreciate the the effort. Hmm. That looks promising. Oh, that totally sucks. Okay, never mind. How about... No grid. Let me see if it shows any, any different.
That looks really promising, but it's too 3D for me. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. Found it. <laughs> Found it. It's simple and it's out there. It's not too much. There we go. Now I can't move on with my life. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just gonna slap in the map. First, I gotta upload the map, and then, um, do the map and stuff like that. Token, mimic, token, alright. Choose file. Desktop. Other files. To grab the, I'm gonna grab the council first because uh, you know that's the one that where'd it go? <laughs> where'd it go? My Miranda. Yeah, there go. There's the castle, and then she's file. That looks like a hmm. Decisions, decisions. Goblin City? Yeah, that's gonna be the Goblin City. Okay. Cool, cool. And then let me add the extra. Maybe the extra area. Oh, yeah, there we go. Here it is. Okay. Cool. Now we can make the actual maps. God dang. This took long. Alright. So let's go ahead and put in... Let me change the music though. Um, I think... Yeah, let's go to cool music. That's the one. Um, I like this one. It sets the moon and shit. Alright, so where is it? Right, um, map. Goblin City. Uh, first we switch to the map layer because that stuff that file's gonna be s slim all right see this is small right look how small this map is right okay watch this though you can make the map bigger uh, you, but you have to, um, you know, push the alt button on the on the computer. And you press the alt button, so you won't stretch out stretch out in a weird, unconventional way. This might need a little bit more, a little bit more um, room, because it's like it's going to be a big map. No lie, um, but it's going to be. Let's set the dimensions differently, so the width is going to be s bigger. Oops, I made a copy. So I go over to the cog wheel, and width is going to probably be 30. No, make that 40. 
The height is going to be probably a 20. Look what that does. Pretty sick, right? But it's probably too lengthy, so we're, we're it's the the grid is too lengthy, so it's going to be go ahead and and make that a thirty instead. And now uh, you could stretch the map however you feel like. Mmm, this needs a little bit more space on this side, so let's go ahead and with maybe a 35, just to make things smoother. Okay, there we go. So the height's going to be a little bit, okay. It's three and three, so maybe two on the height. Uh, so 22, 24. Yeah, it's from both sides, okay. Two and two. That looks like 23, so let's just... There we go. Um, and then I could just probably stretch the map a little bit more. So it's gonna look a little bit bigger. I mean, making maps is pretty easy because, um, for me, as a visual learner, um, I can apply a lot of, like, uh, design to this, like, you, you know, when you, like, look at something, like, oh, yeah, you know, this fits in correct proportions and stuff, I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> How long has it, have I been streaming, though? Uh, it's been an hour. Oh, dang, an hour. <laughs> well. Okay. Um, and then if I want to put in the, uh, let's see, color of the background of where the camp, it's called the canvas. So, I was thinking like, a uh, mossy green, or even maybe a darker color, like, a uh, brown, right? Like brown or like this dark brown because let's see do we have dark brown no no we don't we don't have dark brown but we do have light brown no ah too bright <laughs> my eyes um how about this color Think so? Okay. And then what I can do also do is since I know how to do the cell distance, let's do about it should be smaller. Hold on. Oops. How did I do the whole... Okay, let's see. Um... Oh, okay. I think I know. Last time I did the cell with... Oh, oops, <laughs> hey, where's the grid? <laughs> where's the grid, bruh? Oh, okay, I get it now. Last time, last time I did, maybe, so with one...
So like about five feet. Hmm. Oh. Oh! Yeah, I fixed it. I think. And I think the... Uh, I fixed it. Save settings. Oh, interesting. Let me just grab this token. Oops. Delete. Um, let me go ahead and grab the settings really quick. How do I do that? Game settings. Maybe use advanced keyboard shortcuts. Enable chat and stamps. Mm, okay. Okay, so I'll figure that out later, but... Oh, that's why it's in the map layer. Boo! <laughs> All right, let's test this out. Why is it okay? There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's that's why. Okay. I think I know why. I grab this token. Actually, no. Um, go ahead and grab a goblin. Oh. Um. Okay. Let's see. Edit. Okay, actually no, never mind. I'll figure that out later. It's giving me a headache. Um, let's see. All right, to get that. Okay, I got it. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. There we go, I fixed the map. Um... Your time, color, opacity.
Yeah, I'll figure that out later. Yeah, I'll figure that out later. I'll figure out this stuff later. This stuff later. Anyways, we've got that map ready. And let me just check to see. This is a pretty big map already as it is, uh, but it's good. Let's see, let me check the... This is gonna be five, ten, five. yeah, it's gonna be in fives. So the room's got, okay, so let's say there's a spell of about 60 feet. They can exactly do that. Alright, cool. Um. Okay, so there is, this is the Goblin City map. I should probably have that as well. As... Yeah. That side needs to have less, so... Go over here. Change the color of this one, so maybe... And then have it where it's 30. And then go back to the map layer. Thirty two instead. It's gonna be maybe negative two on the heights. So a 21 will probably fit. Oop. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Um 22 instead of the 23. Math. Okay, around the sides. Okay, so this is the Goblin City. Um, the Goblin City. Yeah, so this is the Goblin City. And out there goes and to the castle. So that's uh, where we're gonna make the we're gonna make the uh Jared's castle. Jared's castle is gonna be easy uh to fix up because let's see uh Wet canvas makes me blind, so um, let's start with let's start with this color. I mean, shade. All right. It's not not much big of an area.
that makes sense. So yeah, that does make sense. So I might have to make this a little bit smaller, the squares. So I'm gonna go ahead and nah, th th it'll it'll leave like that. This part's the entrance, and the quarters of the Goblin's King is going to be in the, either in this area or in this air air area right here. I mean area right here. If they want to fight them, well. Good luck. <laughs> and the color of the canvas for that one is going to be... Uh, green. And the color of the grid lines... It's gonna be black. Oops. I meant, the, yeah, background is... Same. There we go. Cool. So this probably needs a little bit more grid, as in grid space. So width is going to be probably 27. Make that. By nine by twenty six. Two, one, that's like three. Twenty three. There we go. Okay, I just need a little bit. And there we go. Okay. Um, so that is the maps. Um and then maybe a little bit extra map, so this is gonna be Secret. Oh, um, no, no, no. Is he gonna be the oblier? There we go. O B O oblier. It's French for dungeon, basically. Um. Okay, uh, the color for the canvas for this one is going to be purple. Because why if not? Okay. Is it not? Is it? Uh, okay, so maybe. Okay, so no, that does not work. Let me turn on the lights really quick because it's dark in here. Do, do, do. All right, let's choose a file this time. OK. 
Come on, file. It's not working. So let's choose something else. Give me a slight second here. There we go. I think... Nah, it's gonna be another- it's gonna be another labyrinth, be like... It's gonna be a short labyrinth, so... Okay, there we go. I got it. Oh god. <laughs> no. This is awful. <laughs> oh no. This is another no, I'm not I'm not going to do that to the player. I'd be like, "Oh, uh, you're trapped in another dungeon. What the fuck?" Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, no." <laughs> I don't. I don't want to make this person suffer, right? No. I'm like I'm one of one of those um game game masters that you know don't want pain to their players unless a mo uh, unless they encounter a monster. Uh, but one of those uh, people are like you know one of those chill storytellers like hey you find this and this and everything. But there is some, like, storytellers that really want their players to be, you know, in pain constantly. Let me switch to music here, because... No. There we go. It's gonna be a short one, so maybe go over here. That one with is gonna be twenty three. I may get, I may, I might get like a uh, copyright for this, maybe. I don't know, maybe. There we go. Okay, this one. There we go. This put me in the mood. All right.
Hmm. This looks sick. <laughs> Love it. Um, and then I could just put in... Yeah, I could just put in, like, you know, doors right here and stuff. Um, what else? I like this one. Yeah, so this is going to be the Obliate. Now I'm going to put some names on these. Uh, I'll do that, like, afterwards. But I, I already know the labels on the Labyrinth, Goblin City, Jared's Castle, and the Obliate. And then there's the Block, block of Stench. But that is a part of the Labyrinth, which I will implement later. <laughs> um... Now it's for it's time for the um character creation stuff. Character creation for the main boss, which is easy to do. Um and Sarah and Hoggle. So those three are gonna be built in a character builder called um uh D, &D Beyond. Or wherever, whichever. So let me go ahead and grab campaigns. Because in this one I'm going to have it separate. So I'm going to go ahead and create a campaign. Okay, so this is going to be called... The Labyrinth. Uh, DM's Reference. This is for me to have like references of like NPCs and stuff. Uh, DM reference. Uh, DM reference for uh, NPCs and other. Alright, create a campaign. And then. I'm going to create another one that's uh, going to be only for the players, so the Labyrinth. Or Raki Wolves, the Labyrinth. And it's going to be for the uh, for the players. So I'll create a description later. And go ahead and grab Labyrinthium reference. The reference. Go ahead and go to the campaign. I have no characters left here, but you could create. I could create a unsigned character, which nobody nobody's going to see because they're players. So, uh, yeah. Also, um, I'll be right back. Because I have to go ahead and check the laundry really quick. I'll be right back. Boop. Oops. Wrong. Okay, here we go. One second.
Alrighty then. All right, we're good. Let me just grab this right here real quick and uh, I'm back. Let's get back to the um, nick of things. All right, making a character. So let's make Jareth. Jareth the Goblin King. Um, downloads. Set portraits. And then... I'm thinking that the campaign is going to start at, like, level 5 or something. The th um, let's see. No, level 3... And then throughout, they're going to level up um, exponentially. So I was thinking ending the campaign like a level 10. So we might going to be a level 10. So. Gelmi King, right? Lots of things to choose from. Honestly, let's see. He's more of a... He's magical, so probably a fairy. No, he's not a fairy. No, actually in the, um, hmm. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, he's definitely uh, some sort of human. You know what? Um, let's make him an elf. Cause why not? Cause I live a long while, so let's make him. Let's make him a high elf. Why not? Okay, he's gonna have a canch rep. Um, yeah, so presentation, and then we got the extra language, which going to be goblin, of course. He is the goblin king, after all. Um, he is going to be. So between a warlock or a wizard, or actually no, a sorcerer. There we go. Um, let's see. I could probably put him on one level of fighter. Yeah, like give him a little bit of fighter, like not too much though. Like level two fighter. To do that action surge. Um, and then I'm going to add another class, which is going to be Sorcerer. And I'm going to stack up the to Wizard. So he's going to have, let's see, Charisma. And intelligence, because he, he's super smart. Uh, but fighter, because maybe dexterity, maybe he could like fight with like other things, which is a pretty like uh, weird mix. Uh, let's go ahead and roll his stats. 
One, two, three, four. Uh, that is going to be a 13, so I'll just add 13. And then one, two, three, four. Uh, 16, probably his charisma, because he is Sly Devil. Uh, 15, probably Constitution. No, no, no. Dexterity? He's an elf, so Dexterity? That's a 17. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um... Reroll that one. Lower than. Oops. I meant four dice. Mm, that's even awful. Hold on. Two, two, four. Mm, 16. Yeah, so he's gonna be his intelligence. He's, he's charming, smart. He. Tries to coax uh, Sarah into joining him. Uh, Nineteen. That's gonna be that's gonna be his uh, stat right there. Eighteen. No, nineteen. Give him a plus one because one. Okay, and then his constitution and his wisdom. So his wisdom is going to be 12. Not the wisest uh, all looking out there. 17 for his constitution. So dexterity probably a 17. And then thir 13 is his constitution. So far, he's a really round out character. Uh, class. Um, and then 13, 3 in wizard. No, 3 in wizard. 3 in wizard? Okay, hold on. Arcane Tradition. Well, okay, no. No, 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 not a... Word of Scribe, Simulation, Vocation, Illusion, uh... No, not a wizard, more like a bard? Yes. Because he sings in, and he's he sings to his uh, goblin warriors in the movie and stuff like that. Um, so he's gonna be more bard. Level five, level ten. Bard. He's going to be college of uh, what's glamour. Valor, elegance. What's this one? Yes. Okay. So that's his performance. It's gonna be him. And his sorcerer's origin. Maybe just two levels in. Uh, what's this? Me divine soul. Or a clockwork or Albert mine. Storm sorcery, maybe. Well magic? Let's, uh, let's see. So, no, not a sorcerer. Just made me be level two sorcerer. Yep. Hmm. 
There we go. Okay, so it's going to he's going to be a level three on Sora's server. That makes him a level ten. Meta magic is quick and spell and uh twinned. Twin spell. And then yeah, we'll pick his spells in a bit. Um classes for class for Bard. He's gonna he knows how to do the liar and the loot. Loot and he knows Arcana and Expertise. Hold on, I'll do that in a bit. Um, let's see. Nah, uh, he's totally fine. How about a feet? <laughs> All right. Weapon master, shield, sentinel, savage attacker. Um, these are great. He's gonna use Fey teleportation. Cause why not? Part Fey up rule. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and grab the features for this one. Let's see. Acrobatics says so he's re he's really like <laughs> on top of shit. Um Animal Handling Athletics History Insight. Yeah, insight. He's gonna have a some good insight. Okay. Throne weapon fighting, iron arm fighting, protection, interception, dueling. I miss this one. No other weapons, you get a plus suit bonus. Yes! Okay, so yeah. So he'll have a. Yeah, he'll have a woven out there. Now, spells for the bard. Action Surge is what you use whose feature you must finish short rest. So, what is this? Sun Rest, Fly Inspiration. No, he would probably be Valor, I think. And then he gets some um, extra attack. No, it's College of Swords, right? Oh, that's why. Okay. Um. No. Oh yeah, Glamour. He's more of a Glamour bard. Um, perception, because he can see all acrobatics, or actually, no, insight. Um, okay. Now for his spells. I don't think, yeah, he wouldn't have that. Okay, never mind. Okay. The bard and a sorcerer. Oh no. <laughs> um proficiencies. Counter charm. Oh god. Okay. What is counter charm? In action you can start a performance that lasts until the end of your next turn. During that time, you and and any friendly creatures within 30 feet. Of you have advantage of saving throws against being frightened, charmed, or charmed. 
Uh, a creature must be able to hear you to gain this effect. The performance ends early if you are incapacitated or silence or... If... Yeah, so counter charm. You may just equip yourself in a fey magic that makes others want to serve. Let's see. Okay, so Mantle of Maj Majesty seems pretty cool, but then there is the... Yeah, no, actually level 4 in Sorcerer, and then level 6 in Bard. Hell yeah, alright. Okay. Expertise. Arcana. Proficiencies. Gonna be in deception because he is uh, very okay. Intimidation insight. Insight. Okay. Uh spirit uh, base score improvement. No. Just give uh give him a fee. Yeah, pick defeat. Okay. Yeah, let's give him a. But he's going to prove me, actually. Yes. No, oh, he's going to be very charming. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So let's pick spells for this guy. Mm. Knowing him, he would probably do dancing lights. Hold on. Um. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and put the bard spells first and then the sorcerer spells. So he's gonna have dancing lights. The vicious mockery, minor illusion, and then he could be able to learn nine spells out of these. Okay, <laughs> so fear. What's this one? Okay, no, never mind. Um, the spell magic, obviously. Uh, clairvoyance, catnap, bestow curse, bestow curse. Suggestion, silence, shatter. Hmm. It's a lot of choices here. Yeah, he's gonna hold person. Uh, level ones, let me see. This and it whispers. That's a good one. Conscious hideous laughter. That was a good one. Sleep uh, silent image. And bait, let me see. Up to three creatures of your choice that can see within range must take a charisma saving throw. Whenever you target that fails the saving throw, must make an attack or saving throw before the spell ends. Dragon must roll d4 and subtract the number rolled. Bane. That's cool. 
I need two more. That's enthrall. Yeah, he's definitely a charmer. <laughs> um, hold person. Uh, it's phantasmal force. Yes, phantasmal force. Yes, okay. <laughs> we, we, this, this, okay. The Goblin King in the movie um, screws around people's minds and use them to the advantage. Dastardly evil? Probably. But anyways, sorcerer. Let's see. Um, for them... A lot of spells. Um, Mage Hand, Light, Lightning Lure, and then probably Shocking Grasp. Um, uh, much, uh, oh, five cantrips. Okay. Blade Ward and Booming Blade. And Infestation. There we go. Okay. Um, as for... See how many spells is there? Five of them, okay. So, your body becomes blurred, shifting and wavering to all those who can see you. For duration, any creature has this advantage on attack rolls against you. Any attacker is immune to this effect if it doesn't rely on sight. That is enticing. Definitely invisibility. What's this one? Mirror image. Yeah, that one too. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't even, I don't even know. Uh, it's a shadow blade. Yes. Um, Tasha's mind web. Stutter. I have like three in there. Maybe two first level ones. Hmm. And then shield. <laughs> Cause why not? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Now let's fix H HP on this guy. 82 HP. Okay. Not bad. Apply. And then... Um, the Goblin King. He is a noble. So, right here. Gaming set, um, probably a dragon chest set, and then he knows under common probably. No, nope. actually primordial. Boop. There you go. Details. He is a neutral evil. Um, blonde, uh, white, green, and the height, not sure yet, but, yeah. Okay, let's choose his equipment. That's the last thing for Jareth, for this guy, let's see. Mm, arcane focus, and it's going to be the crystal. 
Two daggers, explorer's pack, and... Probably a spear. And then add that to there. And then the add more items in here. And let's say let's go ahead and grab weapons. I wonder if I could uh, AP. Yeah, he's gonna have the long sword. Okay. Actually, no. Or moon. Sword. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Got it. And then let me just grab remove item. Backpack and longsword. Okay. And then any armor. Hmm. Okay. Let's see this guy's character sheet. I have three messages. Cool. Alright. Holy shit, this guy's initiative is a seven. Fifteen. Um, let's let's see inventory. Ross Brand. Maybe give him like a uh, armor. Magical and proficient. Oops, I forgot to add it. Uh, studded letter. There we go. Okay. Hot oh, dang. All right. And then his, um, it's a lot of spells he has. Okay. And then he's going to have this orb or just, yeah, we go. orb. Direction time. Oops. Equipment, and then 
equipment. And then equipment. Oh no! <laughs> you didn't have the orb of truck and kind. Nah, okay. This is an orb of time. <laughs> Let me customize this. Um. <laughs> it's called just a crystal orb. <laughs> Can I hold on? I will show you your dreams. <laughs> show you your dreams. <laughs> if you look deep into it. It will show you your dreams. <laughs> um, the cost for this five hundred GP. Okay. So it's just an orb. It's just a crystal. And then orb detection, direction. Yeah, boy! Alright, so we're good. I wonder what would be his, uh... Actually, no. Let's give him... Two more feats. Yeah. Alright, so magic... Manage feats. Intel score, and then... Yeah. Okay. And then I am going to spell sniper. Let's see, his uh, intelligence score is a four plus four, not plus five. So it's either, yeah, wizard. Yeah, I'm going to get him from wizard. Magic Nessie, Wizard, Warlock, and Sorcerer. So let's grab... There's a lot of stuff in here. Message. Definitely message. Definitely encode thoughts and definitely detect thoughts. If I can find it. Hmm. Detect magic, obviously. So, me so me message, encode thoughts, and detect magic. And then... So, yeah. So, Warlock... He's definitely gonna have Eldritch Blast. But like, oh, wait, he's a Warlock? No. <laughs> He 
He's the Goblin King. Let's see. Soul of the Dead. He's gonna have a bunch of spells. Yeah, he's gonna have Hex. Alright. And then... Sorcerer... He's gonna have... Hmm... I have not thought about- I have not thought this! <laughs> Remove. Um, what's the bar? Let me see. Not much, huh? <laughs> not much spells in here. Alright. Um, right. What's the druid? No. Sorcerer. Yeah, I'm gonna add that there. Um, notice these are <laughs> uh, charisma based. Rare Frost. And Firebolt. And. Chaos Bolt. Because why not? <laughs> there has to be elemental spells uh, in there. Oh, I totally forgot that I had this on here. Oopses. Oh, wow. Okay. Charisma save. Oh, God. Alright. So legit. Um, so that way he's gonna have a lot of spells. And then he is gonna have. What's this one? No, he's not, he's not doing that. Okay, let's see. Um. Watch Mage Slayer. Alright, so he's fine for now. He has many spells. Yeah, there we go. Okay. He has a bunch of spells. Um... God dang! Alright. Hex and Reaction and then... Misty Step. We could do a lot of things. Yeah, he's gonna do a lot of things. <laughs> He could do shield, gives him a plus five, and then that's reaction. This is gonna be great. <laughs> so that's a level this is a level ten guy. So there's that one. Let me switch to a different one. So, okay, so I'm actually pretty much done with the maps in here. Sorry, I'm, I got so caught up in the uh, character builder. <laughs> There's so many choices. There's so many choices. Um, There's so many choices. But yeah, um... And, so yeah, uh, there's, there's that. And what the cool thing is about this... Uh, character creator is 
and spell levels. Um, okay, hold on. There we go. Uh, dark mode, and then the backdrops. There we go. Okay. And then the backdrop backdrops to frames. You could change your their backdrop and stuff. Which is pretty great. Um that's going to be the Goblin King, and then the themes. Yeah, it's going to be have that, and then portrait. That's cool. All right, there he is. Um, now, this guy's gonna be beefy, but yeah, um, I'll, I'll make Sarah later, and I'll make Hoggle later, or just D2, yeah, so, there we go. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and log out here, and, uh, see you guys later. Um, hopefully I could be able to stream this, uh, more in, of this progress as this go along and stuff. I'm just slowly working on this and stuff like that. I already got the maps, I already got the, uh, the little creature enemies, and so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and, um, see you guys later, and, uh,